Hey, what's up guys? It's Taylor. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm doing a video on my overall hair grooming routine. So how I style my hair, how I trim my beard, my neck, my cheeks, shave my back, my shoulders, my chest hair, all the good stuff. So a lot of hair. <laughs> Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, which is a very fitting sponsor for today. It's Hair.com by L'Oreal. Hair.com by L'Oreal is your go-to destination for good hair days between your barber and salon visits. They not only offer pro-backed tips and tricks online and via their social media channels, but they also sell some of the best products in the industry, and you actually get five free samples with every purchase. So today I'll be using the Red Kim Bruise products. Red Kim Bruise is a New York City crafted, barber inspired line of grooming products. The Red Kim Bruise product range from styling, grooming, color for grays, and just overall hair care. So I'll be using those products in today's video. You can see that later. Um, but I really just wanna show you how I go from this scraggly old mess to this to this. All right, so before we head to the bathroom to do all the good stuff, uh, just to give you a little bit of background on my grooming regime, regimen, I wash my hair only a couple of times a week, maybe two or three times a week. My hair doesn't get super greasy and I actually like when it has a little bit of, I don't wanna call it grease, but like, days of usage in it because then it's easier for me to style and it kind of weighs it down which is nice and then as far as shaving i usually actually keep my beard pretty trimmed um, but i'm growing it out a little bit just for you know fall winter and um, as far as my body hair it's really just kind of whatever i'm looking for at the moment i haven't really had a reason to shave in a while but i will show you how i do it today so with that being said let's head in and get it started all right, so I'm gonna hop in the shower, get my hair nice and wet, and on days when I shave, especially my face, I like to exfoliate first and kind of be in a warm shower for a bit just to soften the skin and then use an exfoliator to get any dead skin off so that I have a cleaner shave. So let's do it. fresh and clean out of the shower. This is what my hair looks like right when I get out of the shower. My hair is kind of wavy and I have pretty fine hair, but a lot of it. I'm gonna let this air dry a little bit. I don't really use a lot of heat on my hair just because I like the way it kind of looks a little natural. But right now we're gonna focus on the beard. So if you look here, this is all grows down pretty far and then it grows up pretty high on my cheeks. So I like to shave it with a straight razor, which I'll show you in a sec. And then I'm not a huge fan of like super sharp lines on the neck. I like it to look more natural. So then I'll take my electric razor and then I'll blend it in um, using a guard. Also, when I dry my hair, <laughs> I do like something like this or I just put the towel on and then I press. I don't like to like go like that, especially with cotton towels because kind of break your hair. And then also I, tap my face dry too, so that way I'm not irritating it or rubbing it. So for the straight razor part, I just use this uh, Gillette Mach 3 razor. It's a pretty simple razor, pretty inexpensive. You can get them anywhere. There are nicer razors, but this one I've been using for years and it doesn't leave a ton of irritation. So when you're trying to get this line, um, a rule that I heard from someone is if you take your double chin and like find where it creases, that's where the beard line should be. So that's where I'm gonna shave straight razor with, and then I will use the electric razor to blend it out. I can kind of see where my old line was, so I'm just gonna start in the middle. And you don't wanna to do too many strokes with the razor, it actually is few as possible, just to not irritate your skin, but I'm just doing it a few times to get that line. And I like to shave with the grain 
from here to here, the hair goes down, but then from here to here, it goes up. So I have to be careful to not go against the grain or else I'll have some irritation. Cheeks look pretty even. You can kind of see, you can obviously see where the hair starts on the neck. Um, now that it's grown out, it doesn't look super bad that it's kind of a straight line, but I'm still gonna take my electric razor and fade it up. So then now that the straight razor shaving is done, I'm gonna take some cold water and splash it and then clean off the shaving cream. All right, so here's what it looks like after just using the straight razor. So I clean my cheeks up. Snatched. So to fade my beard, I use this Panasonic washable, multi-faceted guard razor. It has like 39 settings on it. I'll leave the link for this in the description as well. It's pretty inexpensive um, and I've used it for years. So what I'm gonna do, Right now my beard is pretty long, so what I do is I try to find a long setting that <laughs> that is the length of the hair so that way I know where to start. So I'm gonna start higher than I expect. I'm gonna start with like a six. And I hear it getting a little bit. It's getting like very little. So that means I'm in a good spot. So then from there, I'm just gonna trim and then I'm gonna go down a half setting each time until, until I feel like the fade is where I want it to be. All right, so I think I got the neck done. It's pretty simple, I don't know if it's the most effective way, but it's the way that I've been doing it for a long time, especially when I grow my beard out. Um, so now I'm gonna do the cheeks because I don't really like super harsh, but since this is kind of already pretty low, I don't wanna go too faded because I don't wanna bring it too far down. So I'm just gonna do a lower setting and then I'm gonna start to where I can hear it start cutting and then go from there. And then I'll take the guard off to do the last bit just to make sure it's blended from nothing to something. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. The reason I do that is because um, I was not blessed with a natural beard line. My hair grows literally to here and then all the way down. So now that the beard is done, let's move on to body hair. So for body hair, I use this same razor. Um, I actually have two of these. I have one that I use for my face and then one that I use for my body so that I'm not getting, the hair is a lot longer and more coarse here and I just don't wanna like put them on the same thing. So for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna keep this one. So for my chest hair, I use this exact same razor and since it has like 39 settings, I can really get my chest hair to a length that I like it. And also when I, in the summer, if there is a time when I don't wanna have chest hair at all, I can take the guard off and just use the, the razor and it gets really, really close, but it doesn't leave any irritation because I'm not using a straight razor, which I like. Um, and then I use the same thing on my shoulders and on my back, but I have not found a good way to shave my back by myself, but Jeff is a trooper and will help me do that when I need to. So I just take this and I go against the grain with my chest so that way it catches. If I go with it, it just like pushes it down and there's a lot of patchiness. So when I'm using the guard on my chest, especially with an electric razor, you can go against the grain since you're not going all the way down to the skin. It's winter and I wanna keep this now, but that, that is how I trim it. And um, you can even use it on your like inner thighs or legs if you have like really thick areas of hair and um, with the guards you can kind of make it all even which is great. So now that we've got the beard and the body hair taken care of, I'm gonna style 
this hair now that it's a little bit air dried. Um, today I'm going to be using both of these Redken products. I'm going to start with the Cream Pomade, which is a medium control, smooth finish. I'm going to have a little bit more control over my hair. So I'm going to take oh, an, uh, th about this much, I'm going to put it in my hand, I'm going to work it through my hands, and then I'm going to start from the back. And I'm just going to go crossing like this, and then in the front I'm going to push it up, and then kind of work it over to the side that I like. And then I take what's left and I run it through the sides like this. But make sure you don't have a ton of product on your hands because you don't want the side of your head to look matted. The reason I do this is because I like a more tapered look on the side. And so if my hair isn't exactly the length of like tapered fade that I like, I use product to kind of taper it in. And you can also apply heat to this um, if you want to give it some more volume, but I kind of like having this natural look, you know, that seems to be the theme. Um, that's what this looks like. Could just stop there, but I like using something that's a little bit more controlled and matte finish to put things really into place. So this is more of like a clayish pomade texture. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this, maybe like even a little less than a dime size. Gonna work that through my hands as well. And then I'm gonna do that in like the areas that I like to have more control over. So the front and then like just kind of anywhere that my hair tends to not have a ton of control. And then really I just like push it around until I get it where I like it. But this area right here, I like to have my hair lifted a little bit. So I take this part of my hand and I kind of get the bottoms of the, the roots of those hairs to keep those up and out of my face. And then I just work it through until I like the shape of it. That's really it. So that is my pretty much everyday grooming routine um, with the exception of when I shave my chest or my shoulders or my back when need be. But uh, it's pretty simple, but effective and not everything has to be complicated. So that is my overall body hair and head hair grooming routine. Um, thank you Redken and hair.com for sponsoring this video. And again, I use the Redken Bruise products for uh, my hair in this video. With that being said, I hope you like this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, leave us a comment, and check out links to all the uh, products that I used in the description and I'll see you in the next video.